Welcome back everybody to Volatility Trading Strategies. So today's video is part one of a multi-part series that I think a lot of you short volatility traders are really gonna like. I'm gonna be opening five live trades on the longest running volatility ETP called VXX. Each of these five trades will be using a different method of shorting volatility, and we're gonna compare the performance of each of them over time. Now I can also add some videos mid-cycle if anything really interesting happens. Any big volatility spikes that rock the market, for example, or maybe a very strong market period with some extreme volatility crush. I'll add videos showing how each short volatility method performed in those conditions, but there will be at least five videos in this series. Today in part one, we're gonna go over the VXX long-term decay factor, and we're actually gonna calculate where the VXX is most likely gonna be trading on January 19th, 2024. That's gonna be the expiration cycle that I choose for all of these trades, something a little further out in time. We're gonna nail down a specific target value for the VXX XX eight months from now. In part two, I'll actually go into Thinkorswim and execute all five trades live and scale them to the same amount of capital. Part three will highlight the main strengths and weaknesses of each short volatility method because they are all a little different. Part four, we'll do an update after a few months of action to see which ones are better and why. And then in part five, we'll wrap it up and crown a winner and a loser. Now this is all live, so of course I don't know what the result here is gonna be. Maybe all five of them make a bunch of money. Maybe the stock market crashes and they all lose money. In either case, though, we're going to learn a lot about how each one of those short volatility methods works. Give the video a thumbs up for me so YouTube pushes it out to people who need to see this. And now let's calculate exactly where the VXX is going to be on January 19th, 2024. So obviously step one to making money in any trades that we take is having a reasonable hypothesis of where that future price is going to be. This chart is showing the split adjusted price of VXX since its inception on January 29th, 2009. So this thing has been trading for about 13 years now and it doesn't take a genius to see that long term it does decay downward, right? Clearly having a short volatility bias is the more profitable side of the trade. But how much does it decay exactly? Per week? Per month? What about eight months from now, which is the number we need to know? So first, since volatility ETPs do derive their price based on a known methodology of rolling VIX futures, not supply and demand, it means we can simulate the prices back to the launch of VIX futures in March 2004. This way we can add the bull market up to 2007 as well as the financial crisis in 2008, just to improve the robustness of the long-term pricing model. The more data we have, the better. And from there, it's a very simple price regression from inception to the present day. And we can easily determine the long-term average decay factor of VXX. This chart is showing the one day decay of minus 2.49% per day. Now, obviously that doesn't happen like clockwork or anything. Some days it's up, some days it's down. The VIX futures is a freely traded market and anything can happen from day to day. But long-term, the VXX does decay about a quarter percent per day. We can also easily calculate the weekly decay factor using the same method. So VXX decays on average minus 1.242% per week. And again, same thing for the monthly, which of course the longer time frame we stretch it out to, the more accurate these numbers are. And we can see the VXX decays minus 5.1% per month. And side note here, I calculate even more numbers and I include it in every VTS daily trade signals email that goes out to the VTS community. I use the current VX30 to VIX roll yield and the adjusted M1, M2 VIX futures contango. And we estimate where all five of the major volatility ETPs will be in one day, five days, 10 days, and 21 days. If you're an options trader, this information is invaluable as you'll have a much better idea where to set your strike prices. So if you're not a member of ETS yet, of course, claim your free trial on the website or in the description down below. I think you'll learn a lot from my emails. So the question is, how do I calculate where the VXX is going to be eight months from now? The same method, of course. This calculator is something I use often with our VTS strategies. It's a super easy way to estimate where these volatility ETPs will be at any forward date. So as an example of how it works, we can go to the split history of all the ETFs. And for the VXX here, we can see that there's been seven reverse splits since its inception. And the average price at the time of the split was 10.99. Now, of course, we don't know when it's actually going to happen, but an average of the previous seven is a really good benchmark. 
So if we go back to the calculator and we input the one day, five day, and 21 day decay factor that we showed before for the VXX, and then we also input the price that it was trading at at the last reverse split, which was 43.77, we can see the overall decay path right here. The blue line is based on long-term historical decay, and the red line is marked at 10.99, which is the average of the last seven reverse splits. We can nail down an estimated price for any future date. In this case, we're trying to see when it reverse splits next, so if we scroll all the way down, I've already mapped it out here, counted the days, it's going to be happening right there. You can see here the VXX is expected to drop below 11 and get to 1097, and this corresponds to the 16th of May 2025, so about two years from now. Based on all the historical data we have and all the decay factors that we know to be true, the intersection right there is our estimated future reverse split date, May 16th, 2025. But now specific to this video series, let's now estimate where the VXX will be trading on January 19th, 2024. So again, I've mapped that one out and counted all the days. It's going to be happening right there. The VXX is expected to be trading at $25.17. So let's just round it down to a nice clean number, $25. We can see that up here on the decay path again. It's happening right about there. The VXX is expected to be at $25 eight months from now. That's gonna be our price target for all five of these trades. We've narrowed it down to a very specific number. Pretty cool, right? We now have a good mathematical estimation of where the VXX is gonna be on that date. Not a guess, not gut instinct. We're using 20 years of historical data here to have the best chance of success. So now let's get into the really fun part, which is actually executing five Five short VXX trades and putting them in a head-to-head -head competition. Let's see which one of these short volatility methods weathers the storm best for whatever the market is going to throw at us in the next eight months. So for an extensive volatility metrics dashboard updated daily and to see all of the live trades for our tactical rotation and option strategies, click this link right here and claim your free trial to the VTS community. You're always welcome to join us anytime. See you next time.